That way they ain't try to. Oh yeah. She's only 16. How old are you? 19. How long? 19. 19. Oh my God, she's an old lady now in the Philippines. <laughs> old maid already. Don't can't find a crush. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I could have I could have cut that part. Out. <laughs> edit, edit. I'm just kidding. Uh, she's 19. But look, she know how to chop a coconut. Woo! Better be careful, girl. Oh, I saw a drip of water coming out. Oh, there's that place you like. Just gonna poke a hole right there. Just poke a hole, yeah. Oh, you got it already. Look, she's a master. Master coconut. She's been chopping coconuts since she was five years old. <laughs> I better leave her alone because I don't want to distract her and she's going to cut her hand in. My niece's chop some, the other one gets it in the water in the cup and takes it over there to clean it. And then she bring it over here and she scrape out the coconut. Ooh, simply line. They're a well-oiled team. These two right here, they go to college. No college right now though. And she's still in high school. So they're just young. But they know a lot about chopping stuff up, man. Ooh. That's a big one, man. Yeah. Later I will show you what they made with this coconut. Oh man, it's one of my favorite dessert. It's delicious. And it's pretty good for you, you know, you see that they're chopping fresh coconuts. Those coconuts were just on the tree. We ordered them, they got them off the tree and brought them there in the last hour from the time they were chopping right there. Delivered right to the front of the house. So there you go. And she scooped out the coconut. Coconuts look good. That's a lot of coconuts. Yeah. If you think you're gonna pass out or something, don't be swinging that. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquito killer don't work good. What's wrong with you, man? See the mosquito killing ball. It don't work good. Shorten out or something. What? Stop. Maybe just a beetle crawled in there. Oh. 
It's working now. Yeah, baby. This one, I don't know what's going on with it. Okay. Oh, that looks good. That's the cream, huh? Yeah. Yummy. I love that stuff right there. It's a lot of work though, huh? Gotta chop the coconut. Man, people in America, y'all don't know what this fresh, how fresh this is right here. You, you ain't even never, 99% of y'all ain't never even seen a fresh coconut or even tasted it. This right here is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fresh coconuts right off the tree. Woo! You can almost taste it, right? Forget about it. I mean, all it is. <laughs> oh, three times that big. Chesapeake Bay blue crabs. They look good. Those are mud crabs, right? Huh? Huh? Mud crabs? Yeah. Yeah. There's small mud crabs too, but that one's not too bad. Oh, there's some more crabs right there. Hey. I ain't eating no crabs. <laughs> All right, I got bottles maybe down here somewhere. Oh, no bottles. Ay. Time it is. Got my choice of weapon. Look, my nieces are multiplying. <laughs> Instead of one, there's two. Now there's two. There's three. Four, five, six. I'm gonna go pick up some trash. Beats, beats trash. I'm gonna go change the world. <laughs> One piece of plastic at a time. Weapons acquired. Check this out, Greenpeace. You should be a sponsor. You should sponsor me. I think they got more money than they know what to do with because everybody cares about clean earth, right? Just about everybody. There's been a lot of rain and runoff lately. So I know there's gonna be a lot of plastic out here. You know, it's really been raining hard. So driftwood. Hi. Huh. Wood, no problem. I see plenty of plastic. Aye. That's not good. Buddy bud. <laughs> it's 
it's okay. There's no need for fear. Underdog is here. Generally, since so many people live to my right, and uh, the current usually comes from that way, I will start here. Let me see if I'm filming before I get started. Can't see it up there, so I don't want to take it off. Am I filming? Don't know. Yes, I am. I see the red blinker. Light. I saw the red blinking light. So this wall right here is the edge of my fence. So let's start right here. I will be preferential and do in front of my own house first. All right. See this groove right here? That's to run off from outside of my fence mostly. Some of it's my contribution from the pipe that's right behind that tree. But uh, the river, the, the, the water that comes off of my house is controlled by pulling up in the yard and only having a small pipe to escape at a slow rate but see that groove down there has no such a thing along with a lot of other doomhickies around and go a little bit that way Flip -flop. anyway Just here to change the world. You know, I don't put a lot of this plastic picking up in my videos anymore because, you know, it's, it's a boring thing to watch somebody pick up plastic on the beach. But that doesn't mean I'm not doing it. But you know, after a rain like we had recently, there's a lot of plastic that washed down the rivers. As you can see, it's all kinds of crazy stuff. And I don't like it in my cove. My cove being that peninsula to that one. This is my cove. You're not welcome. Plastic. Not welcome in my cove. Anyway. Um, I've been having a good discussion with a friend of mine that is uh, a different political party. I mean, not really. I mean, I'm not a, a political party, but she's got opposite views of mine, which is fine. I wish that uh, the people in Washington could talk like we do you know polar opposite in our thinking and still don't hate it was refreshing but uh anyway everybody's entitled to their opinion so this is not going to be about politics though i'm not going to get into any of that Bye. that's why i came out here to the Philippines. I don't understand their politics because I don't understand Tagalog. <laughs> One thing, you know, the politics they have here, they ride down the street with these speakers um, blaring a message that I have no idea what it is. And I don't ask anybody what they're saying. So it's refreshing to get away from the. Uh, U.S. Um, political operative news on every single network. Wow. 
Look at that shell. I don't know if y'all can see that good. There's nothing. There's no body in there. Oh, maybe there is. I see something down in there. But there's no door. I don't know. Let's give it a chance. Get back out there. So. Hey, no matter what political party you belong to, you can't argue with what I'm doing right now. So. And if you're Greenpeace, if Greenpeace is watching me, uh, email me or uh, message me in the comments and give me a way to contact you. You can, uh, you can sponsor this channel and I can try to get, uh, a lot of people around here could use a job. I could get them working for the ocean. How about that? That's a win-win situation. Money doesn't mean anything. These people need a job and the ocean needs to be clean. There you go. Win, 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 win. And you can spend your money on um, actual cleanup instead of some kind of bureaucracy maybe building the bureaucracy paying those people that sit around at desk oh look at all this stuff man eh? The labor is not that much around here. And there's spare time they could do this and make, make some pretty decent money. Here, you know, $5 is, um, how much is that? $5 times 58 pesos, so 280, somewhere around close to 300 pesos. five dollars so it's not too bad they could make ten dollars easily in a day they could do that in like two hours they could make 600 pesos somewhere around there Two or three hours. You know, it doesn't sound like much ten dollars for two or three hours work, but you know, you can't think in dollars. You gotta go by the currency here. Six hundred is not bad. It's good for the earth. Good for the earth, uh, Greenpeace. Sponsor my channel. I'll start up the start up a big course. We'll keep this whole place clean. When we get it clean, we'll move on down the ocean side. We'll move on down, clean another cove. See the straw, Greenpeace. I could have just saved a turtle. And I'm not trying to be funny because they get stuck up in their nostrils and everything. This is what you do. You can change the world.
Look at this shell. Wow, that's a big one, man. I know you couldn't be alive in there. No. But this shell can be the home for some other... Animal can use this shell. Right? Ooh. Bing! There's a house for you, but got a little too big for your old shell. Anyway, you see what the runoff does right there. <clears throat> you seen in the film yesterday where the chocolate came from one side and the other. That cut down there made the chocolate come from the left and this one made it coming from the right, those two. This is dig deep. There's a beauty in the storms and everything. I don't even think I'll be afraid of a, I wouldn't want a storm surge, but I don't think I would be afraid of it since my house is up off the ground. I would be cautious, but I don't think I will run because there might little things happen to your house that you could solve in the middle of it like I'm not so sure if you know if it's a super amount of wind I don't know my metal roof will what if a big piece of wood hits it something I don't know See how in this cut there's a lot of garbage. I'm happy for this picker <laughs> that somebody sent me because you know dog beach dogs come and pee on the objects. <laughs> and also it helped my back. It's good for my back. If nothing happens to my back, I can continue. And my back feels great. Wow, how did I pass that by? The heck? Nylon string there. Woo doo doo. <laughs> oh, you better take care of your babies, Binky. They have trash pickup. People cannot afford uh, bags to go buy in bags. You know, if you're going to pick between buying some fish and rice or a plastic bag, you're not going to pick plastic bag, man. Period. Nobody would. Especially if you got kids, you know. Even more so, you're not even going to take a chance. Even if you had the money, you know how things can be. Maybe the fishing won't be good uh, next week. You got plenty to eat now, but how about next week? Is there gonna be fish to catch? This is a fishing village. Pretty deep culvert. After a typhoon and it's been raining for two or three days, you should see this thing. I saw it last year.
that's the Norwegian town. It comes on both sides of his fence because where his house was built was a major runoff area before he built it. You know, across the road, you know, the way to mountain shaped, like there's like a little valley right up above there. So that concentrates more to water here than it does down there. Plus, you know, I let the water on. I just keep a pond in my yard until it slowly leaks out, which helps on the helps on the erosion. I'm limited by how much I can more I can get because of the weight. It will start tearing the bag and I got a lot of uh, glass bottles in here. I want to make sure and get those. You know, somebody's going to cut their feet up. It's a dirty diaper. I like. Oh, there's no babies that live there. <laughs> no babies. Let's try to get some light stuff now. Because it's heavy enough. I don't want the bag to rip. So that's why I can't really fill it all the way up if it's heavy stuff. Shoes and glass. These are not like hefty, <laughs> hefty bags. These are as cheap as possible without breaking. Nothing extra. Anyway. If you feel guilty, Greenpeace, that you're not picking up enough trash in the Philippines, link, send me a message at 62 to Freedom on YouTube. Message me how to contact you. I will contact you. Get a sponsorship going. I can document every dollar where every dollar goes in the video so that you will so feel safe that I'm not a robber. So you know that your money is well spent and the people around here are going to work for it that need it so that's even a better a better scenario it's not very heavy but it's very big No, 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 Y'all be nice. I'm your neighbor right there. I'm your neighbor. I... Be nice. Don't bite me. <laughs> It's okay. Hey, doggy dog. <laughs> They're protecting you. So I got a lot of garbage off the beach. This thing bag is heavy. You see I didn't make it that far. Only to that cut right there. From that white fence. And you see how much garbage there is. And you know the current's just gonna bring more. 
it's not like I won. But I feel better now. <laughs> I feel good. Dun, 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 dun. Like the way that I should. Dun, 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 dun. I feel fine. Like strawberry wine. Doodle, 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 doodle. I think Mr. and Mr. Zalaski. Man, I don't know what happened to you, Dan. Where you at, Dan? Hopefully you're okay. Dan from Guam. Whew. And Smart Biz. Smart Biz from Dubai. No during a drought here. There's spring water to, uh, down the Kangadanan River near me here. It never stops. I mean, it gets a lot smaller, but it never stops. No rain in six months and it's still, it's got a decent flow enough to irrigate a little bit for rice. Like they say around here, rice is life. Okay. Wow, <laughs> I trimmed this tree too, not really that long ago, and these vines. Yeah, after lunch, I will do this. Climb the stairway to heaven. You better be in good shape. What's for lunch? Uh, hi. What's for lunch? Adobo. Adobo. All right, I'll be right there. <laughs> go, Froggy, go. <laughs> duck, duck, go found a pussy in a dollar bin. Guess you forgot your galana bin. Your tongue again Rope burn on your